What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the latest Sony NEX camera. This is the NEX F3. I had the first generation NEX 5 and absolutely loved it, so I'm really excited to see what this latest generation packs in its tiny little body. Let's go ahead and get started. So this particular configuration is going to set you back about $600. Uh, this is the 18 to 55 uh, kit lens. It's also a pancake lens, I believe, that will be available. It takes advantage of Sony's E-mount system, so a ton of lens uh, options available for the NEX line of cameras. Let's go ahead and dig in. Take off the top, and boom! Recommended accessories. More stuff you can buy. Uh, limited warranty information, uh, some photo editing software, something in pink. Notes on using the LCD screen. Book. Another book. Another book. Eventually we're going to get to a camera, which hopefully is going to live underneath this cardboard. And boom! There is a camera. Let's go ahead and pull that right out of the box. Push it off to the side for just a quick second and see what else we're going to have. Got a sinking cable. Maybe that's recharging as well. It is the micro uh, variety. Shoulder strap. And we've got a wall charger. So I guess you connect this to the wall and the battery is internal and charges right from there. So no external charger needed, uh, which is very nice. That's a change from the older generation NEX5 that I have. You had to pull the battery out and charge it. So here is the camera. Uh, it looks very similar to uh, previous NEX lines, but there's a couple of tricks here. Uh, this guy's got off its sleeve. You also have a hood that's included to protect sunlight from coming in or to prevent sunlight uh, from coming in. So here is the camera with the 18 to 55 kit lens. Take a look at the sensor, the micro four thirds uh, size, pretty uh, decent size lens. You're not going to get you know full DSLR pictures, but you're going to get much better than a point and shoot. So really this is an in-between device. So not quite a point and shoot, uh, not quite a DSLR. So some tricks that this guy has up its sleeve, so I can get that to pop out. So it's got a built-in flash, which will shoot forward, but also if you want to angle it backwards to have some light bounce off, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, kind of neat. Pop that back in. We've got a LCD screen here, uh, and this is a 3-inch TFT extra fine LCD. You can tell it's extra fine. That will go all the way up, so when you want to take some self-portraits, uh, you can go ahead and do so, and automatically will readjust itself to uh, orientation-wise. Go ahead and pop that back down here. Uh, you can get up to 570 shots on the battery. Um, from a storage standpoint, the battery and memory cards are now separate from each other, which is kind of nice. So go ahead and open that up. There's a memory card in there. Uh, and it can take um, SD or Sony's proprietary uh, format as well, the memory stick uh, option. So there's an 8 gig card already living in there. Push that back. So I assume that'll come uh, when you pick up the camera. So you can take that out. Uh, so you can, it looks like you can charge the battery separately. It does come out, um, but you have the option to leave it in and charge it, which is nice. You don't have to worry about losing an extra charging accessory. So that'll go ahead and pop back. And actually, let's see what size it is. This is of size, looks like 100, uh, 1,080 uh, milliamp hours. So again, with that, you're gonna get about 470 shots. So let's see if this has enough power to turn on. Power on. It may not have enough juice. That does. So you got the alpha logo right there, set date and time. All your controls are done uh, via this mostly um, four-way navigational tab, tag, pub, taggle. How about knob? Let's go with knob uh, that you can turn and also push in and then buttons up top. So select area. I am in. We'll go San Francisco. Although I'm not really in San Francisco. Um, we'll go back and set all this stuff later. But uh, you can see what the interface looks like. It's all gesture controlled. Go ahead and turn off. Let's pop this hood on here. Take a look at the lens first. That's what you're going to be shooting through. Close that back up. Put the hood on this guy. And now I'll almost look like I know what I'm doing um, as a photographer. Uh, so ISO uh, down to 200 to about 16,000 built in flash. Uh, it does have 1080p video recording, but on the side, you don't have a spot for microphone in. There's only HDMI out, unfortunately. So you're gonna have to rely on built-in microphones on this guy. Um, it can shoot about 5.5 frames per second. It's got sweep panorama mode, uh, and you can also you know, view your HD footage, but like I said, it'll be stuck with the same uh, microphone. So ports, pretty much it that you saw, micro um, for charging and mini HDMI out. 
and a little spot there to attach that strap to. And that's about it, and go ahead and get shooting. So I'm looking forward to testing this guy. Uh, we'll get it in Mike Perlman's hands as well, and he can give you an expert review. From my standpoint, it just feels nice. The body's got a little bit bigger grip than previous generations, so you get more of a, a DSLR style feel to it. Um, it's all plastic all the way around, so there isn't any metal alloy here, um, but it does have a very good uh, feel in the hand, which is important when using a camera, it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out. So if you wanna take one-handed pictures, um, you, know, you can definitely do that with your sweet panorama uh, or burst shots, or if you want to take your you know, Facebook self-portraits, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, anyway, guys, what do you think? This is the NEX F3. Uh, it's available now, and it's going to set you back just about $600 in this lens configuration. Uh, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I will see you, or shoot you, not with a gun, but with a camera like this, in the next video. Bye-bye.